today on 11th Gorgeous. Oh, hey, new product. Oh, no. You, you, uh, no, no, okay. You can't say no to that. Lip crayons, trade good stuff. They just, just, hey, I'm not mad at them. Yes. Yes. Mauvey. Mauvey, I love it. That skin is like, looks like you got water on it. They smell like Play Doh. Okay, you guys, it's the beginning of the year. There are so many new products. And it's hard to be like, wait, oh, hey, new product. No. Uh, you, you, uh, no, no. Okay. You can't say no to that. We're, we are like, no, we're not taking you home with us. And they're like, yeah, take us home with you or we will cut you. And they really did. They were going to cut us. I saw the knife. You know what? Let's talk about what we have on our lips. And new product alert. These are the Bonnie Bell lip colors. Has Bonnie Bell ever had like a legit lipstick? I don't know. I am not educated enough in that department to actually say. Maybe I the, don't think so. Maybe you guys need to let us know if they've ever had a legit lipstick, but this is what the packaging looks like. Very similar to the new NYX lip butters, which we also have. And the one we're wearing is in the color Paradise Pink. We also got this peach color. It's not peach, it's beige. It's Hollywood beige. It's more of a natural color, but it does have the orangey, peachy undertone to it. Oh, 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 by the way, by the way, those lippies, the Bonnie Bells, are I think $3.95. Fancy. So, another thing that we got at Kmart is these. They're NYC lippies. Yep, they are the Expert Last Lip Color, and we only picked up one in the color Very Me. Which I kind of love the name. But I was watching That Is Rad and she picked up a bunch of these colors and she really liked them. Ooh, I'm so excited. I think, yeah, I think we might have to go back and get some more. Well, I'll definitely say this was our favorite color just looking at them and that's typically how we shop. If we're gonna get just one, we're gonna pick our favorite color. She liked this one too. It was that's like- That's even better. She was like, I have a favorite, it's this one. But then she said, well now I've got this color on and I think it might be my favorite, so. There you go. So, got those. Okay, there are new lip crayon stick things that we can't say no to. They're from NYC, y'all. If you know us, you know, literally. Like, lip crayon, Tracy and Stephanie. Lip crayons, Tracy and Stephanie. They just, just go together. Love them. Okay, what are these called? The City Proof Twistable Intense Lip Color. I don't know if they have a smell, but I hope they do, because I really love when they have a smell. And what I also like about the NYC brand is they have a lot of New York themed color names. Oh, so are these, these totally Yeah, awesome. so there's South Berry Berry. That's like your red. Ooh, this color is Gramercy Park Plum. Hmm. Yeah, and then the nudie color, nudie is Brooklyn Brownstone. I can't remember how many colors there were total. Well, you know, there were quite a few, probably at least six, but we typically go for a berry color, a red color, and a natural color when we're picking up products, so eh, I'm sure there was a, a couple more. Uh, you know, I feel like if there had been a good pink, we would have grabbed it, but it was either a weird tone or we just weren't feeling it or something. I don't know. $3.99, $1.99. There you Ooh. go. We found, if you saw on Instagram, we took a picture of a new CoverGirl display, and it just seemed like there were some new colors of older products, like some spring colors, which was kind of seeming a little early, so. Hey, I'm not mad at them. I don't know if Kmart made a mistake and put them out too early, but I mean, I'm just beyond excited because Love new colors. These Please. are some of our most favorite nail polishes, you guys. The formulas are great, and we opened the bottles to look and see how opaque the formula looked. These looked great. They look right. So they do. There was a pink one there that we're not 100% sure as a uh, quite as opaque as we would prefer, but these look pretty good. And just to be honest, we have a ton of pinks that are really similar to that, and I can't say no to blues or pastel greens. And I'm. 55% sure that that pink, only 55%. <laughs> I'm a little closer to yes, not quite to no. 55% sure that that pink is dupable. No, but I'm pretty sure that it's it's actually permanent, that it's oh. actually been out. Okay, I'm not 100% sure, because when I Googled it, it came up, but these would not come up. Oh, okay. So I don't know, okay. I don't know. But did you say the names? No, the green is my favorite, it's saltwater taffy. And the blue is Skylight. Yeah. Every time we look at these, we're like, it's the name is made in France. It's a, it's a running joke. It's so tiny. It's a running joke because I picked up a nude color and I was like, oh, this one's called Made in France. And Stephanie was like, no. It was like. It's Bon Bon. No, it wasn't. It oh. was like a taupey, almondy color. Which, okay, it could be made in France. Yeah. 
France, I think of as like taupey and so I said bonbon because it was like, it was something, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have not, I don't even know, have we bought these we have in a few. minute? We have a few. I know we have a few, but we haven't bought these types of lippies in a minute. No, we haven't. We don't have a lot of these. I think the last ones we bought were the hot oh, passion ones. Mm -hmm. It's not hot passion. I mean, it's hot and passion because it's yeah. different languages, yeah. I'm going to call it hot passion. Because <laughs> this is so delicious exquis and honey, honey mellow. <laughs> I don't it's our know. attempt at Spanish. But the honeyed one is one that I a lot of people when we showed the picture on Instagram talked about. It's they such it. yeah, it's such a pretty yes. Yes. It's such a pretty like nudey pink. I'm excited for delicious too. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a mauve. Mauvey. It's mauvey. I love it. But Mild has come out with a few new palettes and there have been mixed reviews on them, so we didn't go crazy on them. We just picked up a palette that we knew we didn't have a lot of in our collection. To be fair... And that's a brown palette. <laughs> I was going to say, to be fair, you know we're not color... Like, we don't go for colors, I guess. It's just a comfort zone. I think there's a palette by Wet n Wild called Comfort Zone. Yeah. But a lot of the new palettes were, like, bright and crazy and just... You know, like a brown. You can never have too many of these. And this is in The Naked Truth. Super excited. I think that what I heard was the mattes in here are actually really good for mattes. Ooh, so. that makes me happy. I'd rather the mattes be better than chalky and gross. Yep. And I think that palette was like $3.99. $3.99. And the nail polishes, those are always like $4.99. And the lippies like are $6.99. When we went to Walgreens a couple weeks ago, we had a couple products we picked up that we forgot to show you guys. Yes. I have been searching for this. I don't even remember who talked about it first. But it's the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Light Space Illuminator, and I'm always like wanting to get that dewy skin, that that skin that's like looks like you got water on it. I don't know, just that pretty opalescent glow. Stephanie loves the face highlighters. I'm like whatever I could do without them. See, I do love them, but I don't feel like I apply them nicely. I just I think, it's an extra step that I can't be bothered yeah. to do. So I wish this is my thing. I'm hoping that one day. I will be able to find something like this that can go under my foundation that just naturally does it for me. It See, I think it's going to cover, my foundation is such heavy coverage, it's, it's going to cover, cover it up. Okay, I picked up the Revlon Age Defying Firming Lifting Makeup, SPF 15, and Natural Beige. I think it's a smidge dark for me, but this might work when I got a spray tan. Which is happening now. Yeah. yeah. After you, before you watch this. Yeah, so I'm not going to take it back because it's not super dark. I've used it a couple times. I'm just so, so on it right now. Kind of seems not heavy enough for me. I like my foundation's heavy. Like a rock. Oh my gosh. I oh my have God. a new obsession with different finish nail polishes. And I came across this Simple Colors Bad Boy and it's in Black Cherry and it has what's called a leather finish, but really it's like a smooth matte. Smooth matte, does that make sense at all? I think most hats are pretty smooth. But no, I feel like some of them are chalky feeling. I think this it's a satin. Yeah, it's kind of like a satin. Yeah, and so love this, and they also have some metallics with it. This is in gold metal. So I'll, I've been putting different designs with the gold over top this black cherry color. We went to Ulta the other night. I don't know why we went, but we went. Oh, because I needed to get an Anastasia brow pencil, which they, and didn't, they have. didn't have it. I cried. So instead, what do we do? We shop. We got this first, technically, didn't we? Tracy found yeah, this. Yeah, I did find this. It's new. It's the brand Love and Toast by Margot Elena. It's Love and Toast. That's why there's toast on there. Love and Toast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, why is there a toast like on the box? I hadn't even seen that and didn't even recognize that as toast. <laughs> the packaging's really cute, and I'll be honest, that was the first thing that got my attention. Okay, so yeah, Trace pulled me over and she was like, I found some hand cream, it's pretty cool, it's like all natural, and I believe it even says on here, uh, paraben free, never animal tested, or animal ingredients, and no artificial colors, and it smells like honey coconut, and I love it, it's a heavy hand cream. Yeah, I don't know how great it is, I won't read all the ingredients, but for the most part, it seems pretty good. This was $9, so kind of expensive, but I feel like a little goes a long way. Uh, yeah, I could put like a little, not even a pea, like half a pea, and that's like all over my hands. We also have body lotions, lip balms, some perfumes, and I want to say there's like shampoo conditioner -y products. Yeah. Like you know I need it when my hands be looking like that. Yeah. Cracked. I yeah. cracked my hand. We picked up these two fun nail kits from China Glaze. Alright, now we do have some of these colors already, but let me tell you, this was only $15 for four nail polishes. And it gives you like a step-by-step -step instruction on how to create the nail art associated with the four colors provided. Yeah, so I don't know if I said this is Galaxy Nails. It's called in, It's in the Stars. 
this is on the dot. And we'll have like the colors listed down below so you can check and see if you have them. Then you don't need to buy them, and you could do it yourself. And I've always wanted this sun worshiper, so it was kind of like an excuse. There we go. To get a color that I've there always wanted. Go. Loved it. We got a couple of products from NYX. This one is the NYX Wonder Pencil. I never heard about it until after we bought it, and then I started seeing it places. Hmm. So it's kind of funny. It's basically a nude pencil that you can put like on your waterline or in your inner corner, and it brightens and opens everything up. And but didn't it also show you could put it like around your lips, yeah. around your eyebrows? Yeah. It's like multi-use, use it everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's like a fine point concealer or you can use it to like line other things like that because it's not as harsh as white. All right, we also picked up these two butter lipsticks. We got Snow Cap, which is a nice mm -hmm. kind of nudey, beigey color. And then you know we gotta get our reds and it's in Mary Jane's. I was really hoping these would smell buttery, smell. like the glosses. Uh, like butter? You know what I mean. <laughs> no, it's don't. rich and sweet. I think of butter and I think of desserts for okay. some reason. I don't know why. But margarine and butter don't really smell good. No, they don't. They just smell like butter. Butter. But yeah, they don't really have much of a scent, so. Excited though to wear this. Me too, me too. Okay, we also picked up, uh, what is this? The main. Throw it on the ground. It's a Maybelline lippy, and I can't remember what the names of the Color Sensational. The nudes? Yeah, Color Something with the nudes. nudes. I don't know. Something. But it's some natural colors, and we got Nude Lust. And they smell they like Play Doh. Play -Doh. <laughs> they always have and always will smell like Play Doh. I kind of love it. I do too. Kind of, no, oh, you love it? I thought you hated it. No, sometimes mm. they smell old. Oh, okay. I love when they smell like Play Doh. <laughs> Smell like when they smell old. Yeah, or when like they smell flowery and. No, no, no. L'Oreal has some weird smells. Sometimes these go off. Yeah. But L'Oreal has. What does L'Oreal smell? It's like a weird it's floral. floral. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like the Play Doh. This is uh, another polish. OPI Push and Shove Duet Pack. It's from the Gwen Stefani line, and the silvery color is Push and Shove, and it is a metallic y like chrome mirrored effect, but with this base coat, it like makes it even, you can't see it sticking out there. It's a tiny base coat that makes it even more metallic. And she's wearing it on her nails. Why does the base coat make it more metallic? It just does. I don't know. I've read it. It makes it smooth. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe it helps prevent like brush lines. It says stuff. create metallic chrome with the reflective mirror finish, but it says uh, lay down the base. It says to get an ultra chrome finish, be sure to start with lay down that base. Okay. To tell you about it. It doesn't have a super long wear time, so this is like a going out for a fancy night, put it on. It says on here, it says push and shove is intended for one night wear only, which means they're not claiming it's going to be a long lasting polish at all. Because you're not supposed to put a top coat on it, on it and so it kind of has sort of a satiny finish to it, um, but it's fun. I've enjoyed wearing it, and I would say two days it was good. Note to self, if you have really ridgy nails like me, or like nails that peel and are uneven, it will show that. So either wait till your nails are a little healthier, buff those bad boys out, or find like a ridge filler. Ridge filler? filler? Ridge filler polish. I think I read a girl's thing where she said she should have buffed them and kind of smoothed them out first, so I was whatever, I just wanted to do it. Okay, also picked up the Sally Hansen Big Matte Top Coat, not gonna lie. Really loved the packaging on this bottle. I she wanted to have that coat. I she thought didn't. I didn't. I thought I didn't. And then after I purchased this, I was looking at my Jules collection, and I was like, oh my gosh. I, I looked in my collection for matte because I told you guys I got that simple color bump because I've been wanting matte colors. Could it not find it. Happens. It usually happens. You buy something you think you need and then you find the product that you had lost and you thought you needed. Thumbs up if that's happened to you. Or you own. All right, guys, that is everything for our gigantic what's new at all of the stores. And I can tell you right now, we still have not picked up everything that's new because I know there are some L'Oreal lip glosses that we haven't picked up yet and even some more stuff, I think. I'm not sure. There was something else that we didn't pick up that was new. So, there'll probably be another one of these pretty soon. And I uh, will tell you guys, most of these products should be able to be found at drugstores. I know NYX is starting to come out into CVS sometime mm -hmm. this year. And I hope the selection is better than the one at Target. Yeah. Because our Target selection is not good. It's even our funny. Ulta like, selection is not that great. All right, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let us know what things you've been picking up from the drugstore lately. Yes. Do you have any of these products? Do you love them? What do you think about them? Leave us a comment and tell us. All right, guys. So, we will talk to all of you guys in our next video. We sure will. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.